up guys, Sim here, and this is No Prep News, episode number 37, and this week we got some big stuff to talk about for the main topic, and something very interesting that I'm going to be bringing up later on in this episode, but as always, this is No Prep News, and the main premise of the show is to read the comments that you guys leave, and in this video right now, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 different comments that I picked out from last week's episode. Last week's episode, I had 101 total comments, so I thanks to all those that left their comments, and I got the 10 here that I picked out for this week's episode. First one from Corey H. said, I don't leave a lot of comments, but I appreciate your videos. Look forward to them during the week. So keep up the good work. I've been watching you since the beginning. Thank you, Santa. Just like nice comments like that. I always just put a smile on my face. And I thought this week to pick out one and read at the beginning of this video. Then Joe Jones said, Sim, how often do you still kick it around on the Razor scooter back there? So you got plenty of Gatorade for when you do. Hope to see you at an event soon. Hopefully I will end up making out to an event soon. And I never really realized. Can you get... Like, I never even noticed you guys. I guess if the camera would have moved, you can see, like, we got scooters and stuff hanging there. Then the Gatorade jug right there. My brothers and stuff ride the scooters around still. Like, I never really got into, like, scooters and tricks and stuff like that. But the Gatorade thing back there, I think I, like, garbage. Me or my dad, like, garbage picked it years ago. I don't think we've ever used it, to be completely honest. Maybe for, like, a couple parties or stuff, we filled it up with something. But... I've just, I, I, I thought that, just that comment I just thought was so funny. Like something so, like, one here making this video talking about like the street racing and no prep racing and drag racing and all this kind of stuff, and you leave a comment about the Gatorade jug and Razor scooters in the back, I had to bring that up in this video. Shout out to you and thank you so much for that comment. Now time to get into some of the comments and stuff regarding street racing, no prep racing, drag racing, and street outlaws. First one from Noah Smith said earlier this year on a live feed, Jeff Lutz said he was going to make another run at Drag Week at some point, mainly because his son Jeffrey wanted to. And that's a really good point right there because a really good thing you brought up because if I'm not mistaken, him and Jeffrey built that twin turbo Honda Civic to race in Drag Week, the big tire murdered out black one. They built that to run at Drag Week and I don't think it has ever completed Drag Week, if I'm not mistaken. They had problems with it the first couple years they ran it. They might have completed it one year, but it wouldn't have been to the standards they were hoping to run it at. So hopefully we do see another appearance with Jeff Lutz and his son Jeffrey at another Hot Rod Drag Drag Week. Drag Week. Hot Rod Drag Week pretty soon. Then Drag Week Racing Adventures said that recently Tom Bailey and Larry Larson got into some back and forth banter on social media regarding Drag Week and it may be the spark that brings Larry back. Then Michael Roberts brought up a great point that said the Street Outlaw guys at Drag Week would not only be great for Drag Week but an awesome add to the show. Add past winners to the mix and you could sell out each race and have incredible competition. I didn't even think about that. If you got the big name Street Outlaw guys there... Look at the all the other events they host and go to. Almost all of them are always sold out. Drag Week, like they have like a decent amount of fans there and stuff. But you bring in the Street Outlaw guys, guaranteed to sell out every time. For a marketing standpoint, for like the business standpoint of Drag Week, like I know it's not that's not what it's meant to be. But from that standpoint, it makes complete sense for them to at least make an effort to try and get some of the Street Outlaw guys there for one year. Bring them all together, have the biggest Drag Week ever, sell out every race, biggest fan attendance, biggest live stream viewers, like biggest of everything of what that would be. It would be the fastest cars ever, biggest attendance of racers, viewers spectators, drivers, everything. It would make for the biggest drag week of all time. Then, moving on, on off the topic of drag week, kind of want to wrap up the drag week stuff at the beginning of this week's episode. Then, moving on over to some Street Outlaw stuff from Deep Junk Garage. Said, I completely agree with you. If Chief were to use the Crow and win in both List Racing and No Prep Kings, it would be a badass statement and a near impossible feat. That being said, he is one of only a handful of people that could pull something like that off. And thank you for right at the end there said, thanks for the excellent videos, Mr. Sim. Thank you so much for that right at the end. And you're right. He's one of those guys that's just got like that spark that you, he's got that special something that would make him capable of achieving a feat such as, such as that. Winning an event in No Prep Kings or winning the whole title and also being at that number one spot on the list. He's just one of those like special guys that could do it in the same car. Yes, we could see someone like Ryan win No Prep Kings and then be number one on the list with two separate cars. 
But I could see Chief as just like, with him going into this season, and I want to bring this up again a little little bit later to elaborate on this some more. But going into this season, he's racing one car for both Street Outlaw races. If he is at the top in both of them, that would be something amazing. And I feel like he's one of the very few guys, like you said, he's one of the very few guys that has that special something that I feel would be able to achieve something like that. And Keith E. said, with all the No Prep Kings competitors upgrading their cars, there's no clear favorite these races will be decided by tenths of a second next will be wind tunnel testing for better aerodynamics thanks sim great job as always thank you so much for that comment you commented pretty much every video upload and i thank you so much for that and you have a really good point right there like everyone is upgrading their cars coming out with new cars doing everything they possibly can and literally these cars are getting to the point where it's like as fast as they can possibly make them Guys like Ryan Martin are saying this car is wicked fast. We have Kai Kelly going out making test hits with his car, and it has been wicked fast. All these guys are coming out with this stuff, and it's going to be insane for this upcoming season. Because I've said this before, with the delay and everything, it's almost helped it more because guys have had time to finish their cars. Guys have had time to test their cars. So it wouldn't be guys coming out with these new cars and untested and stuff. They've had time to test it. They've had time to work on it. They've had time to perfect them. And coming out this season, it is going to be huge, amazing, and and awesome. And now, time to get into the main topic. And the main topic of this week is Chuck. We got a bunch of stuff to talk about with him. Before we get into something that I brought up last week, first comment from Fire9986783834 said, Speaking of Chuck, saw that he got his daughters a car. It's a Mustang. I think he said they were 13 and 16. That's a great dad doing such. Thanks for the update. And I saw that video. I believe it was like a blue, like first, I, what would you, like first gen Mustang. I ever hear people call it like Mustangs by like first gen, second gen Mustang. It's always like, but you know what I mean? Like the early body styles of the Mustang. I think it was a blue one, if I'm not mistaken. I could be. I could be completely wrong about that, but I think that's the car that I saw. And that's something cool that he's building the car with his daughters. I think that, like, we're seeing Sean build the car with Aiden. It's just cool to see stuff like that, like, bring on the next generation of Street Outlaws. I think that's something really cool that we're hopefully going to be seeing more of in the future. Then Matthew Wyatt said, yes, Chuck did build a new no prep car, and you won't be able to tell the difference unless they are next to each other or you are a Mustang dude. Last week, I brought up uh, some comments saying that Chuck built a new car. Now, me being Mr. CNBCXYZ, I should be on top of all this stuff. I had no idea. Genuinely, I didn't even know. I've been doing a lot of other stuff right now. Like, if you guys haven't noticed, I've been daily uploading every single day. We're on three weeks now of uploading a video every single day. So, I'm having a lot of fun doing that. And my, I let off the gas a little bit with my focus on the Street Outlaws news, no prep news, street racing news a little bit. And I missed something that big. So, shout out to everybody that left comments about Chuck and his car. I'd say about... 50% of the comments were probably people letting me know about Chuck, about the new car, and all this stuff that's going on with that. But the one comment I picked out that I thought summed it up pretty good was from Baby Shark GTO. He said, Hey Sim, yes, Chuck definitely has a new tube chassis, big tire Mustang with a Pro Line engine. He is waiting to debut the car at No Prep Kings. In Chuck's words, it looks identical to the Death Trap, and you probably can't tell the difference by looking at it. So Chuck is coming out with a brand new car. I believe some people say it's got a Proline 481X twin 98 millimeter precision turbos. This is like the baddest of the bad stuff you could possibly have. And when he first came out with the death trap after he made a big tire, that thing was rolling. It left like nothing we had ever seen on Street Outlaws before. And him coming out with this new car now is just, he's going to be at like a whole nother level once again like he came out right out of the gate was insanely fast with this new car the only other guy i can think of that we saw something like that before was chief when he originally came out with the crow he came out and was just right at the top right away chuck did the exact same thing when he brought out the death trap once he switched it over to big tire now with him coming out with this new car i'm guessing we're gonna be seeing the same thing once again this thing is gonna be wicked fast right out the gate and some people were saying he's gonna bring it out at the very first event for this upcoming season of no prep kings some people were saying he's not gonna have it finished for a little bit so i genuinely don't know when we will be seeing it if you guys could confirm that in any way shape or form gladly leave a comment down below i'll probably be reading it 
in next week's episode. If someone can confirm when will we will, in fact, be seeing this car. I'll try and find some information myself and figure out when we will see this thing 100% for sure. But if you guys know, it seems like you guys knew a lot about this car to begin with, and I clearly didn't. So please leave a comment down below. Let me know when you think we will be finally seeing this car come out. But it looks like Chuck is making some big changes, big upgrades, and will be coming out with a brand new car. And I mentioned this earlier in this video about Chief with him racing the one car. Does that make him now the only driver that has one car between no prep kings and list racing? Ryan Martin's got two. Murder Nova's got two. Daddy Dave is coming out with two. Doc is coming out with two. Chuck is coming out with two. Ryan Martin, I, I might have mentioned him already. Ryan Martin has two. It's like... All these guys are having two cars, and those names I listed off right there, listed off like five names or something like that right there. All those guys are the top five of the list. The only one out of those that doesn't have two cars is Chief. I think that's really interesting. Out of the other fastest street outlaws, Dave, Doc, Sean, Chuck, and Ryan, all of them have two cars for no prep kings and for the list racing, while Chief is only having the one if he is successful with it i see for sure he will continue to race just the one car but say he gets completely smoked in one form of racing and does okay in the other i could see him coming out with another car in the future again that's only if like say he comes out to no prep kings and just gets completely smoked in that and he's still he, he'll probably always be able to be competitive in the list with the crow as it is right now but with no prep kings with all the huge stuff coming out it's a toss-up right now to be completely honest trust me i want to see chief too good i want to see him be successful but with all the stuff come like all the stuff coming out right now jeff lutz is another guy that has two cars it's just everyone is just it's like putting him at a greater, greater, greater disadvantage. Yes, he's at a disadvantage to begin with with the drivetrain he's running in the car. But now with all these guys, literally having the best of the best stuff you can have and having two completely separate cars puts him at an even, even bigger disadvantage. So I wonder what he will do in the future. Leave a comment down below about that. That's something I definitely want to bring up in next week's episode of No Prep News, and it might possibly be the main topic. Will Chief ever come out with a new car? And your thoughts and opinions on him being one of the only drivers left that only has one car between list racing and no prep racing. But that's something that I want to talk about next week. The main topic of this week was that Chuck has come out with a brand new car for No Prep Kings. It will be pretty much identical to the current death trap that worked out perfect for me i don't have a picture of the new car but if it's going to look identical to the current death trap for the thumbnail of this video i can just put a picture of the current death trap because the new one is going to look the same as the current one man that worked out perfectly for me nevertheless chuck has come out with a brand new car for no prep kings a new death trap that will look identical to the current one but has a four, pro line 481 x twin precision 98 millimeter turbos and will be a heck of a lot faster and will definitely be a contender for this upcoming season of no prep kings so that is all thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed and thank you all so much for watching to the very end of this video again it means so much and it helps so much to all those that genuinely watch the entire video and to those still watching right now i thank you so much much make sure you guys tune in every single day this next week for another new video every single day i will be uploading a new video at 6 p.m central standard time so make sure you guys click that little bell turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video that i upload again all my videos go live at 6 p.m central standard time and make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions on everything we discussed in the comment section down below when we'll be seeing chuck's new car for sure and your thoughts and opinions on big chief being one of the only guys left that doesn't have two cars leave it all in the comment section down below next week's episode we'll be talking about some of my favorite favorite comments and some of the top comments from this week's episode of no prep news betsy shirts and hoodies are also available at simplysexyz.weebly.com or first link down below in the description i also set up a p.o box so if you guys want to send me stuff address is down below in the description again that is all thank you all so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys follow me on instagram at sim abc xyz don't forget to like and subscribe and this is sim abc xyz signing out